released your survey that shows there are expectations now for rising defaults. Indeed. Is that because we're thinking the Fed is going to be raising interest rates this year, or is it something else? Well, I think there are multiple things going on. And we've, we've been in an extremely benign credit environment. And we know that default rates will uh, uh, revert to means. So, you know, it can't get any better than now. It's going to get uh, worse at some point, and the question is when. Certainly, uh, the Fed raising rates will have some effect. When you increase cost of financing, the weaker companies who rely on financing will be a bit more stressed. But we also see issues in Europe as well, and I think multiple effects uh, are, are affecting this, uh, this prediction. I wanted to ask you about Europe in particular. How much of a factor does that seem to be weighing on portfolio managers? And what about Greece? in particular? Uh, it, it definitely all is. You know, certainly the economic data out of Europe. Uh, Greece is, you know, I never thought I'd hear the term Grexit again. It's not <laughs> my favorite made-up word, but yeah, we're hearing it again. And in fact, uh, a number of our portfolio management uh, members have been talking about having to develop contingency plans to deal with a possible Greek exit. So it's definitely being thought about, and people are planning for that contingency. So it definitely is wearing people's thinking. And um, the weakness in Europe, uh, not just uh, the Greece uh, issue, but across uh, geographies in, within Europe, uh, uh, have a very anemic GDP growth uh, or even declines in some areas, uh, that definitely uh, is affecting the outlook for Europe. So do they give you any? clues on how they're preparing or planning? Well, uh, I, I think a lot of it has to deal with positioning. You know, it's, it's looking at the effects, uh, thinking through what will happen, and then being ready to uh, adjust your portfolio in advance of that. And it's actually not that different in, in the, uh, the states either. Um, even though things look much better in the states, uh, one of the big things is uh, the effect of oil and gas prices, and people are really thinking about the effects of that. Certainly, it's good for some companies, bad for other companies. Uh, it's planning, uh, th thinking through and planning uh, the possible effects of that, and then taking action. And not only the direct effects, but also knock-on effects. Things like um, uh, looking at uh, the economies and communities in places like North Dakota that really boom because of oil. Now if those uh, get in trouble, what happens to real estate prices, what happens to retail mortgages, consumer credit card in those areas, and things like that.